The question I get the most these days is, how do I grow vegetables without a big giant garden? And if you're convinced that you have a black thumb, just start with some herbs first. Basil, cilantro, parsley, you'll be okay. And then when you're ready to move out onto the deck or your patio space, there's a lot more options. For plants like tomatoes, peppers, or eggplant, you're gonna wanna make sure that your pot is at least 12 to 18 inches deep. Small varieties of tomatoes will thrive the best. I am convinced that lettuce seeds will pretty much grow anywhere. Growing them on a deck or a patio area is ideal and they come in so many different types of colors and varieties. Two more vegetables that amaze me is chard and kale. I've thrown seeds into random pots and not only do they come back year after year, they last all winter and they're pretty. They look great in pots for curb appeal. And while they require a little more maintenance, you are able to grow onions. I have been successfully growing onions on my deck and my patio for a while now, and I even have some emerging that were left from last year. Container gardening has sort of just become an experiment for me, and it helps my friends along the way. I've grown everything from sunflowers to strawberries and green beans. I actually didn't think that the bush beans would grow, but I did get a lot of harvest from them. And while I refuse to grow mint anywhere but containers because it's so invasive, it is also a plant that grows with ease. Another reason to keep mint around is it keeps those mosquitoes away. So does citronella and onions and various other herbs. So a benefit to growing things on your deck or patio spaces is it will help keep the bugs away. And if you're just looking for something pretty, marigolds and nasturtium are easy and pretty. This year I already have romaine and kale and a few various herbs growing in this pot and I'll be harvesting lettuce leaves in no time. Deck plants may require you to add dirt as the season goes and don't forget to water. Stay tuned because this weekend we are moving some of those cold hardy vegetables outside. Be sure to follow my page and my husband is going to be super jacked as I move some of the stuff out of our dining room. Stay tuned.